Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create downloadable products in Magento. This type of product is actually very cool because it allows you to uh, sell your uh, software, music, uh, video games, movies, themes or anything else that you can think of that is uh, downloadable. Uh, there are also many features here. For example, you can even give uh, your customer a sample of your download. Uh, prior to purchasing the actual download this way they get a little glimpse of what you have to offer and then uh, they might actually end up buying the download uh, from you so to start simply go to your Magento admin panel once in your Magento admin panel if you'd like to set up a default uh, configuration for your downloadable products simply go to system and then configuration then go to catalog and then simply expand the downloadable product options here and uh, simply set your settings and then click on save config then simply go to catalog manage products and click on add product if you'd like to uh, use an attribute set you can in this video I will use the default attribute set if you do not know much about attribute sets, you can actually watch my other video on attributes and attribute sets for more information. As for product type, simply select downloadable product and click on continue. Here I assume that you know how to fill out the basics of uh, these forms here. If you don't, I actually have a video on uh, simple products as well as virtual products, which goes over most of these fields in detail. So you might want to watch that video if you don't fully understand each of these fields. But they are pretty much self-explanatory, so I believe that you'll uh, figure it out. Uh, so in this video, I'm basically going to focus on the download part rather than everything that is listed here on these forms. Note that if this is your first time creating a product in Magento, I actually have a video on how to create categories. So if you don't have any categories set up, you can always watch that video. As for related products, upsells and cross-sells, I have a video on this as well. Uh, so if you'd like to watch that, again, it's on YouTube. For custom options, you can always add custom options as with any other product. For example, I can... Uh, do something like this and then I can add a uh, price here for this other option Remember that you can always choose percentage if you'd like. And for SKU, if you'd like to enter in a SKU, you can. Note that uh, options with empty uh, price fields use the prices that are set here. Now, simply go to downloadable information. Once on this page, you can uh, add your files. Note that if uh, you have uh, trouble with any of this, I recommend looking at your folder permissions. Simply go to where Magento is installed and then go to the media directory. And in the media directory, there's a downloadable folder there. And make sure that this downloadable folder is writable and readable. I have it on 777 permissions. Uh, your server might work with 755 permissions. I would look into this. What I would do is I would first list the uh, item and then uh, try to buy the product, download it, and see if everything's working fine. So now you can add samples. There's actually a way that you can add samples right here, which is where you can have the samples by themselves, or you can actually add samples in this section uh, for each download. 
In this case, I'm just going to add a sample here and I'll change this to sample jazz album. And then I'll just add a new row and simply select your file. Note that if you receive an error such as this, that your maximum allowed file size exceeded uh, whatever the limit is for your server, simply go to where Magento is installed and edit the php.ini file and simply add this line to the bottom upload underscore max underscore file size equals and enter in whatever uh, file size uh, limit you need for example I have uh, 8 megabytes here if you need more simply enter in whatever number you need Note that it might not be a bad idea to also change the post underscore max underscore size value to whatever the upload uh, max file size is and then simply click on save. Note that if your uh, server caches this file it might actually take a few minutes for the changes to take effect so you may want to wait a little bit. Note that when you try to uh, upload the file again here Magento will still say that you uh, reach your maximum allowed file size limit because uh, it needs to actually refresh everything so you actually have to uh, save this uh, form or uh, reset it and then edit again. In my case I'll just save it and then I'll come back in and edit and then I'll show you the rest of what needs to be done. So now I start editing my item and I will add my sample track. And I will choose file. Note that you can also add a URL which uh, sends the buyer to the URL to download the file. And here I will add the rest of my information. Note that you can actually specify a price for each uh, download. If you'd like to add more than one download, you can. And uh, you can also specify the maximum download amount or unlimited if you want to limit your customer to a couple of downloads after purchasing the item, you can. Note that you can also specify a sample for each track, for example, or for each file, I should say, because it doesn't necessarily mean you're selling music. And uh, when you do that, the buyer will actually have the option of uh, listening to each track prior to purchasing. Simply click on Upload once you're ready. Once your upload has finished, simply click on the Save button and uh, view your listing. And here is my new uh, listing. I have my sample track here the full album here and I also have my custom options. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.